this video we're going to show you how to download stored video on your recorder. So first we're going to go to search. You can also get here by going to main menu and then playback. It brings up the same interface. Here we have October 19th selected. As you can see we can select the 18th, the 11th, the 12th. For this video we're going to focus on October 19th. First I'm going to show you how to use the file based exporting. So you're going to go down here to the right hand side. Here we have four channels selected. We're going to click the file list button. It brings up those four channels at the top here. You can see channel one, two, three, four. And currently we have a recorder set to record our blocks of file list. So let's say we wanted the noon hour or in the one o'clock hour on the first channel and the 11 o'clock hour on the, well right here we have um, several events happening throughout the day on this channel. So we're actually just going to go ahead and get the 2 o'clock hour instead. And on channel 3 we're going to go and get the 3 o'clock hour. And channel 4 we'll get the 4 o'clock hour. So now that we have all of these selected, we can go down here to the right hand side and click backup. As you can see we have all of those clips that we selected in this list. And we can click backup and we already have a USB drive selected as you can see at the top here on the first screen has 62 gigabytes available. Now this flash drive has to be an NTFS FAT or FAT32 drive to be able to be accessed by our DVR or recorder. Here you can see we already made a folder for today and we made this folder using the new folder button. And we'll make another one here just to demonstrate. So 1019 2018 2. We're going to go into this folder. You can start the backup. As you can see, it shows time remaining, and this will adjust based on how the recorder decides what speed it is actually exporting at and the amount that it actually has to export. So, as you can see, these are rather large files, almost a gigabyte each. That's going to take quite a while for this recorder to export. So, for the sake of the video, we're going to stop this. We're going to cancel it. We'll write some files to the to the USB drive. First, we have to select the device, backup, go into the new folder that we made. As you can see, it. Also it installs or exports a smart player .exe. This is for a Windows machine to actually use and manipulate the .dev file that the recorder exports. With the smart player you can view or you know pan through this file or then also re-export it as a .avi or mp4 format file for your use with your favorite media player such as VLC or Windows Media Player. We're going to back out of the browse menu. You can also export video using the timeline in playback mode. To do that you need to make sure there aren't any pending backup tasks. Make sure that you, they are selected and you press the clear button. Provided you have no files in the queue you can create a clip. Let's say you want to clip an event. So here we have an event that happened in the day and we want to go ahead and export this event to show our boss. So right now I'm using the scroll wheel to scroll in and out of the timeline for the video. And you can also use the buttons here on the right hand side to pan through these different views. So right now I know the event happened around 1245, so I'm going to click here on the event. As you can see we have a man at our top right, so I'm going to select the second channel here. And then I'm going to clip this video clip button here. You can see the time marker for the initial portion of the video clip at 1244 in the 23rd second. Now let's say I just want to get until he waves his hand and then leaves the view. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this again. And as you can see, it clips it from 1244.23 to 1244.38. I'm going to go ahead and click back up to save this clip. You can see it's selected here. So I'm going to click back up. And we're going to select the folder that we created earlier, the 1019.2018-2. dash we're going to double click to get inside of there, then we're going to click start. Since this is a very small clip, only about 3 megabytes, it finished right away. So then we can back out of here, and then back out of there. And now that file is exported, and we can use that with the smart player on our Windows-based machine. Thank you for watching.